I am going to apply a lip balm on my lips to keep it moisturized and then I'm going to gently cleanse my face using this facial cleanser this is going to take away the dirt from my face and then I'm going to use a setting spray to act like a primer on my face before applying foundation the setting spray makes your makeup to last all day and longer since you are going for a party and going to dance and going to eat and sweat and everything it's going to make sure that your makeup doesn't move and then i'm going to use this darker foundation just to um, darken up my face a little bit and add some definition that the foundation took away from my face You want to take your time to really blend your foundation and blend out any harsh lines and make sure there are no demarcation between the darker foundation and the lighter foundation. To enable you to do that properly, you should use the side you used to blend the first foundation in your beauty um, sponge to blend everything together and it's going to take away the harsh line. Then I'm going to highlight my face. I'm using just a little bit of concealer. I don't use too much. Uh -huh. you know it's in a party with the go so we need to do fast fast so as the concealer they set it's getting tacky i will also set my foundation the darker foundation with a powder because me i don't get time to waste so anyway that i apply the darker foundation i'm going to set it using a powder now you can blend the concealer i try to look up while blending my concealer so that i can really blend under my eyes and make sure there are no creases under my eyes and then i am going to set the concealer everywhere that i applied the concealer the bridge of my nose my cupid bow i'm going to set it with the setting powder this will make sure that the concealer does not crease and then i'm going to uh, contour my nose now we are going to move to the eyes the eyeshadow we are going to do today is very very easy and beginners friendly the only thing you just need to know how to do is to layer on eyeshadows so first i will pack on this blue eyeshadow and then i'm going to layer on another lighter blue eyeshadow so this one is darker then the second one i will apply will be lighter which is this one as you can see one is darker one is lighter and then after layering this one i'm going to take my green eyeshadow and i'm going to use this as the first transition shade the green eyeshadow as my first transition shade and then i'll apply this yellow on top of the green and make sure that i take my time to really blend everything together so there are no harsh lines on my eyeshadow and now i am going to apply blush i'm going to use the same brush that i used to apply my powders to apply my blush then of course i'm going to highlight my face if you don't have an highlighter you can use any eyeshadow palette that has like a shimmer shade in it and i'm just going to use this firm brush to apply the highlighter and i'll use my hands to apply it on my nose also and make sure to blend it in i am just going to apply the darker eyeshadow under my eyes and then highlight the inner corner of my eyes using my highlighter or the eyeshadow like i talked about before and then apply setting spray just to like reduce the amount of powder on my face and then move on to lips i'm just going to go for a nude lip it's going to pair really well with the blue eyeshadow it's not going to take away from the eyeshadow i just want the eyeshadow to really take center stage and pop more if this is your first time here and you are not a subscriber please give this video a thumbs up leave down your comments and subscribe to my channel 
last minute i decided to skip the false lashes and only apply mascara if you are going for the party and you want to apply false lashes you can definitely do so or you can skip it just like i did now that i am done with my makeup i'm going to move to the ashoke gilly gang gang style i'll be tying today is the center knot gilly it's very easy and it's beginners friendly and it's going to go well with this makeup look that i have really like taking my time to do so you are going to ratio your gele 50 50 create three pleats if you like you put it you twist it at the back like this and then you bring the two ends to the front you create some pleats if you also want to but i did not create any more pleats and then i'll just proceed to tying the two ends together just watch what i'm doing it's very easy to do i'll just gather some pleats like this at the end at the tip and then i'll proceed to tying the tips together and then create a knot in the middle so i'll just create a knot in the middle like so For me, I think this is one of the easiest gele styles you can tie, the center knot gele. So this part, I'm just going to create pleats. I like to start at the back of the gele and just really take it at one step at a time. So I'll create some pleats at the back and then try to extend it to the front and then I'll tie it. If you have watched this video to this Part, please give it a thumbs up this is a trending style and it's very easy it's beginners friendly and you can definitely do this within five minutes if you don't want to make the first three pleats that i did you can definitely skip it and just tie it like that i'm going to remove the knots and just secure the pleats that i made with the knot so i'm going to put it back in the middle and then secure it with the knot and then i'll proceed to the other side of the gilly i'll just repeat the same thing that i did before and that's what i'm going to do here and this is how it should turn out this is my makeup and center knot gilly routine thanks for watching